Togo, two newspapers suspended the IP Global Network is concerned by the press freedom situation in Togo after two media outlets were suspended by the country's media regulatory body earlier this month. The incident comes amid wider fears about the environment for journalism after several opinion leaders, political opposition members, and journalists were targeted with digital surveillance less than two years ago. On 1 February, 2023, the Hot Autorité de l'Audiovisuel et de la Communication, HAC, the media regulatory body, suspended two privately owned print media houses, Liberty Hebdo and Tampa Express, for three months. The suspension of these two newspapers underlines an increasingly repressive trend regarding press freedom over the years. This trend has resulted in growing silence and self-censorship on critical issues among journalists out of fear of reprisal or being put under surveillance. Liberty Hebdo and Tampa Express had published articles on Prime Minister Victoire Tomiga Dog, alleging that her convoy caused the death of a man, and on Charles Kakao Vigafan, the CEO of Togo Terminal, a business corporation, respectively. Regulators claimed the publications were in breach of professional ethics. However, the hat move was denounced by a local media defense group as an attempt to silence critical media houses. A double decision of the hack which is nothing but the reflection of the muzzling of the Togolese critical press by the authorities, which decided to put the independent media under a wet blanket, said Patronet de la Presse Togolese, PTT, in a press release. IP director of advocacy Amy Bruyet called for the suspension to be reversed. Authorities in Togo should immediately reverse the suspension of Liberty Hebdo and Tampa Express, she said. The suspension of media outlets is a serious incursion into press freedom, and adds to the growing concerns about the protection of independent journalism in Togo. The suspensions follow several concerning press freedom incidents in Togo in recent years. Three journalists, Lakabaki, Ferdinand Eight, and Carlos Ketterhau, were among people revealed to have been targeted with digital surveillance using Pegasus Spyware in Togo. Carlos Ketterhau, the newspaper Independent Express, fled into exile after he was arrested and released following the publication of an article in 2020. In 2021, Ferdinand Eight and Joel Eger, who worked with the media outlets El Alternative and Fraternity, respectively, were arrested and detained over accusations of contempt of authorities and incitation to hatred and defamation. Joel Eger died two months after his release from prison.